What's going on guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. So this video is going to be addressing my sheepdogs out there. You all know who you are. This is kind of important because I've noticed a lot of guys are getting burnt out. You know, it's been how long now since the, the pandemic started? Um, a lot of us have been going, going, going for years now, right? And like just constantly focused on preparing, preparing, getting more prepared, taking care of others. But do you ever stop and take care of yourself enough? Like just seriously answer that. Like if you're, I'm speaking to all of you out there as sheepdogs, as professionals, whether you get paid for this or not, you're a professional at this point. You've been trained and you've been training, you've been training yourself or you've been going out to training and seeking it, whatever. You've been preparing for how many years? And now is your time. Now is your time to shine. Now is your time to fill those shoes and fill that role and responsibility that you were probably born for. And I want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself because if you're not, then nobody else is going to. And if you're not taking care of yourself and you should fall, then there's no one to man that spot and that sector on the wall, right? All of us watchmen out there are all responsible responsible for our own kind of sectors of the wall, our own area of responsibility out there, whether you're uh, a lone sheepdog out there or whether you have a pack, you're responsible for a certain area, a certain number of people that you're watching over, even if it's just you and yours. Chances are, if you're watching this and you're one of our sheepdogs, you're, you're it. <laughs> it's either you are it or you and some other guys are it. So if you have a pack, make sure that you're taking care of your pack and make sure some of them are watching out for you as well. I got a 14-year-old German Shepherd named Hunter. He's a retired working dog. And um, he's hurting these days. So I watch out for him. But even though he's like limping around, he still watches out for me. And I know that he's watching my back at all times. <laughs> And you know, that's really an, an analogy, analogy, analogy. I like analogy, so I'm going to make that a word. It's an analogy for life and for how I want everyone to kind of operate out there. Um, take care of yourself first. Because again, if you're not, then who is, right? If you take care of yourself first, then you'll be better able to take care of others. And a lot of us are getting fucking burnt out, right? You know, I've noticed a lot of guys out there have a little extra weight on us, myself included, than like two, three years ago. And it's not even like we're out of shape, right? At least, at least in, I was at the firehouse and I was noticing that a lot of our guys have probably put on a good 10 pounds. They're not out of shape. I trained with them. I was training with them today. They're in fine shape. But for whatever reason, it's whether it's stress, whether it's whatever. I mean, a lot of us still work out pretty similarly to how we did. It's it's just what it is. And this I've been noticing this on a lot of guys. Like even the MMA guys at my at my gym, at my MMA gym, even the se like serious season fighters have put on a few pounds. It's fucking stressful right now. I mean, it's just, it's what it is. Um, but I bring that up to say that I need us to watch out for ourselves as sheepdogs, as warriors, as watchmen. Because we all have our sectors that we're responsible for. And if you're not manning the wall, who is? If you're still watching this, if this resonates with you, chances are you were born for this time specifically. You came into this world with a mission, with a purpose. One of those purposes, more than likely, is to guide and to guard and to help others. We, a lot of us, I can't speak for everybody, never really ask ourselves, why am I fulfilling this role as a sheepdog? Because it's the right thing to do. Like, of course I'm going to do that. Why do I do it? It's just what I do. That's probably how you think in some respect. It's just the right thing to do. I'm going to keep doing it. Like, good. Good on you. 
But a lot of people don't feel that way. Guys, a lot of civilians out there, and I'm using that term loosely, don't feel that way. They don't care. A lot of people don't give a fuck about their fellow man. They just don't. And whether you're religious or not, right, it says in every, every, almost every religion that I've ever studied or heard about, in some respect, like, it's a good thing to help your fellow man and to look out for, like, be your brother's keeper. It's just, it just is. It's, it's what we do. And we don't expect anything for it. We just do it. But it also leaves us vulnerable to not taking care of ourselves enough. So that's what this video was about. Just a quick reminder to please, guys, take care of yourselves. Make sure that you're staying in good shape physically. And probably more importantly, make sure that you're staying in good shape psychologically. Because the world is a fucking rough place right now. Times is freaking tough for everybody. You know, between, well, let's go Brandon. Between that and then just everything else happening geopolitically. It's like the world has just been taken and tipped upside freaking down and shaken around a whole bunch. And we're all just like here. And we're all trying our best to do whatever it is that we do and keep fulfilling our roles in life. And I want you to make sure that you're trying to take care of yourself psychologically. Because that's kind of the first thing to go. Usually, I see guys get psychologically just burnt out and then the rest follows. So don't let that happen. Whatever it is that you do to keep yourself sharp, do it. Work out. PT, right? Train. As guys and girls out there, that's one of the things that keeps us sharp. Communicate. Talk to people. That's why Jen and I love coming into the live chats is because we are able to connect with all of you guys. And I will not name the guy, but he came on one of our things and he basically said that he felt like we weren't giving enough attention to everybody and that he was going to unsubscribe because he felt like it was a big advertisement. Um, and this is a business, make no mistake about it. But we also, along the way, have made a lot of friends out there. Y'all know who you are, who are friends of the channel. So it fucking breaks my heart that this individual thought that like I didn't like him or that I wasn't paying attention to him and that I was paying attention to our members more than, more than anyone else. Because that's not, although this is a business and we need to freaking sell our products and the way that we advertise is on the YouTube channel and to some degree the Instagram as well. Um, and that is our priority here. We're also there to like reach out and connect with you guys. And it's a way to, it's a way to like release and relieve some stress to come on and talk to all of you guys, you know, on a Saturday night or, you know wherever, whenever, we don't have something to do, we jump on and we, we connect and we look forward to it. But when I heard that, it really pulled at my heart because I didn't want this gentleman to, to feel like I was somehow like leaving him out or whatever because that's not the case. And I, I know how it is to feel like left out of things. And I, I fucking hate it. You know, I, I wouldn't ever want to leave anyone out but that's how a lot of people are feeling right now left out lonely just not great and it's not good and I need all of our guys and girls out there to take care of yourself psychologically and we'll take care of each other and if you haven't made it to the live chat before come on in talk to us we're anxious to connect with everybody out there and anyone who likes or resonates with what I say and reach out because it's necessary. You can't, you, you don't want to be in a foxhole alone. <laughs> so stay salty guys. Stay prepared because we don't know what's coming down the pike. And that's why we have been ramping up our survival store. We've been ramping up our products and everything that we sell as far as the hand-to-hand -hand combat and all of that. But it's not just about the money. 
like, yes, this is a business, but first and foremost, this is about helping people and connecting with other warriors around to make sure that we're all good so we can all continue to protect. So don't be afraid to reach out, whether it's to us or whether it's to your friends or somebody else. But if you need help, get it. Reach out. And that's what all of us are here for, is to help one another. All right, guys, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully I'll be talking with you soon if you can make it into one of our live streams. Cheers, guys.